Hello and welcome back to the tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create uh, the snake's head and uh, move it with keyboard keys. So let's go ahead and create a new layer here. Let's call this game. I'm going to lock this BG layer and here on game layer double click create sprite and I'm gonna load the image from my assets folder snake.png and let's put it here change the name to snake okay now next thing I'm gonna do is adding a new group here let's call this creating snake and uh, push B button and here uh, hit F button and then I'm gonna call the function create snake and bring this blank event here and I'm gonna call this function in here so before calling that I need a little wait so system wait zero second after creating all the spots then uh, call create a snake okay so in create a snake I want to say first of all delete this snake object and then uh, pick nearest spot to the center position center position of the grid or, uh, or camera position and uh, create the new snake snake's head on that position so let's close this window and first delete this snake and then I want to say go ahead on spot pick nearest position to scroll X and scroll Y the camera's position and then create object of a snake on layer game on position of a spot dot x and a spot dot y okay let's run all right we have snakes head here so now next thing I'm going to do is uh, let's just get rid of these black areas here and make the grid uh, bigger so for uh, doing that I'm going to click on project name and change the leather leather box scale to a scale outer outer and uh, here I want to change the grid width to 25 and yy to 16 okay let's run all right that's it very good so now I need to add other parts of a snake here so for doing that I need at first a variable here I'm gonna call the variable um, snake parts at start and I'm gonna change the initial value to 4 and uh, so here push or hit B button and uh, double click on it system I'm going to use for loop for creating other parts of the snake so start index is 0 and end index is snake parts at the start minus 1 uh, and I'm going, I'm going to bring this event here and now we have four snake parts on this particular position so I need to say set position of other parts in that way that means this is the head and uh, second part third part and fourth part uh, is going to be here so for doing that let's go here and set a spot.x minus loop index multiply by uh, 100 and hit done and uh, so let's run the game and as you can see we have a, a snake including four parts of a snake here so next thing I'm gonna do is moving the snake head by uh, using arrow keys on the keyboard so 
for knowing uh, which one of which uh, object is the head of the snake I need to add a new variable and I want to add that variable to the family of a snakes uh, we use a snake family for comparing uh, each part of the snake to moving forward to moving uh, to the previous position of the next part for example when the snake head goes to the right the second part goes to the previous position of the snake head and so on for each part so I need to use family let's go ahead and create a new family here a snake and I'm gonna call this F a snake and I'm gonna add a new instance variable let's call this n or num for number of the uh, part of the snake so hit ok and close this so now I need to get the value of n of the snake uh, from a global variable so I'm going to create a global variable called snake num and it's going to be one at the first and uh, let's go here at action snake set value and uh, n is going to be a snake num and next thing I'm going to do is adding one to this variable uh, so it's going to be ready for the next part of the snake to get the n so here click on add action system and add to snake num one okay so I'm going to debug the layout and let's see which is which okay this is the snake head have n of one this is the second part is two third part is three and four okay now I need to move the snake head so I'm going to create a new group here let's call this uh, controlling snake a snake okay hit B and uh, here I want to say when I uh, hit any key on the keyboard game uh, should a start and a snake head should move so for doing that I need a, a variable here let's call this start game and here I need to add my keyboard plugin okay and here I want to say when I hit any key on the keyboard set start game to one I just uh, hit S several times to get this start game variable so hit done and here push B and double click system combo variable and if start game is equal to one hit B double click system every 0.5 seconds move the snake head so for knowing which one is the head I am going to say uh, double click snake compare instant variable if n of the snake is equal to one which means it's the head add action snake set position self dot x plus 100 and of course y is going to be self dot y it's y position so when I hit any key on the keyboard game will be started and when game is started uh, every 0.5 seconds uh, snake head goes to the right position goes 100 pixels to the right so let's run and see 
Okay, I'm going to hit space. Okay, every half of second it goes to right. So now I need to add a new variable for uh, knowing the direction of snakes uh, move. Okay, right click here, add global variable. I'm going to call this move direction and it's going to be string and initial value is right at the start it goes to the right and uh, let's go here and hit B button double click system and compare variable if move direction is equal to right then snakehead should go to the right and of course it need to be underneath of this event and I'm going to copy and paste this and change the right to left and done and change the x to self.x minus 100 okay so when I run the game nothing has changed just need to change the move direction when I hit any key on the keyboard so I'm going to hit B button and uh, double click keyboard on key pressed and here when I pressed right arrow add action system and uh, set value move direction is going to be right So when I run the game and hit right, up, left, and uh, down, left, you can see it's working very well. But uh, there is a problem here. When I go to go to the right and hit left, it goes back. And in the classic snake game, uh, the inverse position is none of the rules of the game. So uh, I need to prevent that so here I want to say when the snake's head is not uh, is not going to the left then uh, change the direction to the right so for doing that I need to just copy this move direction and paste it here and I hit I on the keyboard to make it inverse that means uh, if move direction is not equal to left so I'm going to I'm going to do that for the other events here so let's run the game I hit right and anytime I hit left it doesn't work down top doesn't work left so that's it that works perfectly so in the next video I'm going to show you how to move the other parts of the snake uh, following the snake's head. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.